And this week on Michiana's Menu, you voted and we listened. We wanted to find the very best burger in all of Michiana. That led us up to New Buffalo. ABC 57's Mary Call Trader got on an inside look at Redimax and what makes their burgers one of a kind. For this week's Michiana's Menu, I wanted to see what is the best burger. And that led us here to Redimax. Established in 1946, but now here in 2021, it's been voted the best burger in all of Michiana. Wrapped by yours truly. Yep, that's me, speechless. The Redimax Everything Burger is no joke. But in order to tell this story, let's go back to the beginning. No, not that far back. There we go, here, the Redimax Kitchen. This is where the magic happens. But what exactly makes the burger so good? For starters, Greg Saltzman is no rookie when it comes to his craft. How long have you been here? How long have you been cooking these? 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. Oh, you're the expert. Ooh, so we want to pat down the burger, not smash it too hard, a light pat, and then it gets covered. The family establishment processes its meats in-house, which means the burgers are as fresh as they come. People can taste the difference. There's that and the cheese. So, I mean, it, it is very tender, you know, when you bite into it. Of course, they put Velveeta cheese on it, makes it really good. <laughs> After cooking the burgers to juicy perfection, Greg shows me how to top it off. It might have taken a bit longer than the usual routine. Dress the burger, quarter size, which yep. is, that's like a quarter, right? Yeah. Maybe a, a large quarter. So we're gonna have a dime, okay. And then pickles, and then onion. And that's it. Yep. Woo! Oh wait, I forgot. I gotta dress it. I gotta yeah, dress it. <laughs> okay, so how fast do you do those? Because I feel like that took me a while. <laughs> uh, a little faster. Deb Harrington Robertson has been serving here for 40 years, and now customers will wait if they have to just to get a table in her section. I love my job. I do, and I love people. And in this industry, it, you have to be a people person. There's, you know, there's no doubt. I feel as if even with the mask, a customer can tell it in your eyes that you're smiling. They really care about people. They're family people. The restaurant passed down from the Redimax to the Moroni's in 1975. Now still a family business with the same goal from 1946, serving the community. We, we know what our purpose is. And as long as the passion is there, uh, will continue to be there. Chef's kiss. Holy moly. I'm, you really taste the quality in the meat. Like it's the perfect amount of juiciness. And you're going to sneak a fry, aren't you? <laughs> he wants to eat. Mary Caltrider, ABC 57 News.